Welcome to DRJLT Economics. Today I want to talk about Trump's indictment, the motives behind it, and the possible outcomes. Before we do that, um, I want to talk about, I want to characterize this indictment. Uh, I want to suggest that even if Trump did what he has been alleged to, and he probably did, um, this would only be this should only be a misdemeanor and certainly does not warrant and as a misdemeanor this will probably be out of the statute of limitations and um it certainly does not warrant the turmoil the social and political turmoil that uh, this indictment would engender so why are the democrats indicting donald trump uh, ostensibly to uh, prevent him from being re-elected president of the united states um, I think that's certainly because they have no other good options. That's to keep it short. Why? Well, they tried at first to use the January thing to uh, try to impeach Donald Trump. That effort was unsuccessful, but, ex uh, but uh, a lot of people say that uh, this was behind the reason why Trump did not pardon Edward Snowden and uh, Julian Assange. Uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps not, because Donald Trump is not necessarily a champion of free speech either. So there is that. But nevertheless, um, the, Democrats were, uh, uh, the Democrats were unable to impeach Donald Trump and thereby uh, preventing him from running for office again. Now, um, so they... Obviously, um, even throughout Trump's presidency, they tried a lot of uh, investigations in order to find dirt on Donald Trump for one reason or the other. In fact, not another, because there are only two possible reasons. They, ha they, they haven't found anything more than the Stormy Daniels uh, affair. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, you see, if they found some uh, financial... Un uh, um, how to say, uh, dirty deals, uh, some financial crimes that uh, Trump has uh, co committed and that are indictable, then they will not be indicting Donald Trump for uh, paying off a woman for not speaking up about uh, a, an affair, a consensual affair. So that is not something that they would choose to, right? But they haven't, they either haven't been able to dug up any dirt on Donald Trump or possibly because Donald Trump has been in real estate in the New York City. It's also possible that uh, um, there are some other people who are also very important, who are Democrats and perhaps very deeply rooted Democrats um, or perhaps their donors uh, that are involved in these dirts. So they can't really say that Donald Trump did this and that without uh, damaging themselves. And for that reason, they can't use that. And after um, years of, of, of attempts, they haven't found anything that they can use. So they have to fall back to using the Stormy Daniels affair in order to uh, try to damage Donald Trump. Another reason that they have delayed it for so long is that uh, I think at the beginning of Biden's presidency, it appeared that uh, Kamala Harris was always intended as a Trojan horse in the sense that um, Kamala Harris would uh, displace Biden at some point for one reason or another. Uh, so she could thereafter be uh, the incumbent and uh, she could run two, she could have two more terms, she could serve two more terms and she being a, um, an avid champion of the establishment could be quite useful because uh, she uh, as, a polit as a politician is really free of her own um, ideas. She is a protector of uh, the establishment, and that's about it. But the problem with Kamala Harris, as it turned out, is that she is so unpopular, and despite Biden's senior, um, I don't know what's the word, uh, seniority, not necessarily, um, 
old age, let's say, and perhaps a little bit of uh, mental degradation. I wouldn't say that he is completely useless. He is because uh, I think mentally he is still sharper than Kamala Harris, and uh, he is still more popular than Kamala Harris. So they couldn't. They just simply cannot trade. Uh, something, someone who is not necessarily the best to someone who is worse. So um, essentially, that's um, the, the the reason. Another reason. So they can't really use Kamala Harris to displace Joe Biden. So um, Biden needs to stay, and uh, uh, this poses another problem because if they, if Kamala Harris was very successful, uh, they would not really need to care so much about Donald Trump because running as an incumbent uh, that is quite popular and quite uh, quite um, how to say uh, a, a good p- politician such as Barack Obama I think if Barack Obama ha- is the president today um, there will be very little chance for Donald Trump to uh, to win uh, and re-election because um, Barack Obama is that much more popular and is that much better a politician than all of the others so um, that's the situation um, they are trying this to uh, try to. They are trying whatever they can. But what are the outcomes that we can we, we can think of? Well, I think number one, uh, as people have suggested, that even if Trump has been uh, had been imprisoned, uh, if even if he is imprisoned, uh, if he were imprisoned, he can still run and serve. Uh, as president, he could run for uh, for for the presidency and serve as as president in prison. Um, that is possible, and uh, I think, given the nature of this case, um, it should be dismissed. But uh, we know that the the court uh, and uh, the jury, uh, the juries uh, in New York City are not necessarily impartial. So perhaps uh, this would really. Uh, he he may actually be sentenced to something. Uh, he may be found guilty of some crime, and um, so this is all possible. Uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, the Republicans, I think, the Republican voters, not necessarily the Republican, in fact, not the Republican establishment, but the Republican voters, um, now, uh, how do you say? Um, uh, uh, what is what is that word? Uh, um, they are anyway. They they, they they are inspired. They they are um, um, they want to they, they, the support for Donald Trump. I think is really growing and uh, it's consolidating. And uh, I think the, without uh, if unless a surprise takes place, I think uh, Donald Trump will be. Nominated as um, the uh, Republican nominee, and thereafter, if uh, he stays healthy and uh, capable, he will be re-elected president of the United States. Um, there would need to be um, one of two things for the Democrats to really stop uh, Trump's re-election. Uh, I certainly would not. This is not. Uh, putting ideas into anyone's head because these are so ridiculous. Nobody should be doing these two things because it would destroy the remnants of credibility of the uh, political institutions of the United States. But that would be number one, to um, have Donald Trump uh, commit suicide in one way or the other, uh, or perhaps to um, uh, to impose martial law and cancel the election. These are the two ways uh, to do it. But those are the exact two ways that a banana republic, that uh, in a banana republic, uh, the um, dictator would uh, do in order to stay in power. So I, I don't think that the Democrats, the democratic establishment and uh, the, the deep states, the political establishment in the United States, 
uh, at, at that point yet, because Donald Trump, even though Donald Trump may not be、um, the best champion of、uh, a a a wholesome image of American power,、um, I think Donald Trump has had indeed served. American power reasonably well,、mm. so in、uh, to prevent a single person from being reelected,、uh, if the cost is to destroy the entire system,、uh, I don't think that's worth it. So、uh, if I'm if I were、uh, part of the establishment, if I were one of the very powerful people, perhaps a handful or dozen of Exceptionally powerful people that's making all that's pulling all the strings behind the scenes. I would say we try something, but we go no further. We don't pass the line. We don't destroy our precious、uh, country. Not necessarily precious in the sense that I love it, but precious in the sense that I draw my power from it. I don't destroy the system. Uh, in order to, for some personal vendetta,、uh, so that perhaps is、uh, what th- that's actually my view, and、uh, for this reason, I think very likely within a couple of years we'll see Donald Trump again、uh, in the White House, and、uh, yeah, I think he will be indeed. I don't think even if he is、uh, he has been sentenced, I think he can pardon himself. If elected president again, so that is、um, that's just、uh, no. But I don't think they are even going to、um, to sentence him. I think at some point this、uh, farce would stop, and uh, uh, the Democrats will be given a note saying that、uh, okay, enough is enough. You don't destroy our country, the credibility of our political system,、uh, in order just for. A partisan goal, because overall and by and large, I think uh, the um, people who are really in charge, who are really pulling the strings, are apolitical. They don't have a lot of the social ideologies. What they care about is money and power, and、uh, they need the current political system to survive in order to continue、um, to. Draw money and power from it. All right, that's、uh, my view. Thank you very much for listening, and have a great day.